Welcome to the Virtual Jump Seat. Today, you'll get an exclusive look as real-world 737 pilot and experienced flight instructor Daryl remotely coaches one of our clients, Jeffrey, on a short flight from Edinburgh to Dublin. Jeffrey is an experienced flight sim enthusiast working with Daryl to bring his skills to the next level of realism. Over in Dublin, they will fly an RNAV RMP runway 28 left approach, followed by a few more practice approaches. If you'd like to see more content from Daryl, check out his channel linked in the description. And if you want to get one-on-one -on -one remote coaching with real pilots like Daryl, check out flightsimcoach.com. Okay, let's go fly. Radios, radar and transponder. Uh, so you got, just put T-A-R-A on the transponder now if it's not already. I think it is. Yeah, we're good. Perfect. Uh, rudder reel on trim should be free and zero. Take our briefing. Oh, uh, yeah. So um, we've briefed the ghost sound departure a few times already. If you're happy with that, I think so. Yep. <laughs> uh, we're going to climb, climb straight. I'll do it. Maybe I'll try it. Just okay. we'll climb straight ahead uh, to the uh, uniform whiskey um, NDB and then on course 262 uh, to Mavix at uh, 9.5 uh, DME, uh, we need to be between 4,500 and 6,000. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after Mavix, it's gonna be a left turn on the uh, 217 um, uh, inbound to... Uh, That's Turnbury. Yep. Turnbury. That's it. And okay. uh, we can't go above 6,000 unless we're cleared. Yep, that's it. All right, that's done then. So take a briefing as discussed. Uh, PA, I won't, I won't make you do one of those. Uh, okay. <laughs> FMC, CDU, so takeoff page, your side, legs on the PM, that's good. Uh, that's... Uh, M1IS bugs, so we, we had all that set, I think. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, stab trim, you set, we checked that. Yeah. Uh, performance weight and ballads, we've done that already. Uh, and I think we're good to go. You've already we've all started off, started up, so that's all fine. Um, before taxi check will be generators, APU, that's all good. You, you've turned the APU off, right? Yeah, it, it uh, yeah. Yeah, start switches are in continuous. In continuous, yeah. Uh, probe heat should be on. Probe heat is on. Anti-ice, uh, don't need it at the moment, so that's nope. okay. Air that's conditioning, off. we've already checked. Isolation valve should be in auto, which it is. Yeah. Uh, flaps. So we got five required. We should have five selected with a green we light. Got... Whoops. Five selected, green light. Perfect. Uh, step trim. We've already checked. Start levers in the idle detent, which they, I think they were. Uh, flight controls and recall. No, so just hit the re hit the uh, yeah. recall there. Okay. Just Let me just check the uh, flight controls here. Okay, right or check. Okay. Oops. There we go. All right, good. There we can just run through the before takeoff checks. Well, assume you've already been clear for takeoff, so let's um okay. let's, let's arm L nav. Okay. L nav is armed. Good. Okay, so we'll run through the, the before takeoff checks which are on the control column there. Okay. Uh, release the parking brake and advance the thrust levers. And, okay. Uh, that will make sure that we are in, that the config's good. Did you hear a config warning? I did. You heard a config warning, did you? Yeah. Okay. Why has that happened? Um, nope. Uh, yeah, I'm getting it when. Uh, hmm. uh, um. This was happening the last time. This happens. Uh, this sometimes happens to me. Um, I have to not sometimes double click to release the parking brake. Um, have you got the the parking brake on a on a button on your joystick or anything? Uh, I do. Yeah. Try um, hit, try hitting that. Okay, just did that again. Let's try. Are you still getting it? Yeah. Did we have this? Yeah. We had this problem before, didn't we? We had this problem before. Yeah. We just, we couldn't figure it out. We thought it was a bug. Um, 
Everything looks okay. It's it's like an intermittent takeoff config. Let's try. Oh, you know what's happening? I, I think the parking brakes are on. Okay. Even though it's yeah, yeah, that, that, that's what happens to me. So what you do is uh, set the parking brake again. Okay. And then um, and then release it using your joystick button, but push that twice, and that might do the trick. No. Anything? Now I'm just looking as well. Like when you were past this thrust levers there, it's yeah. um, it's giving the, the showing the flaps are in transit. Yeah, it could be. I you know there, it's possible that there's something with the with exactly where this sits on the. Uh, on the honeycomb that it's getting an input that is oh are you using are you using a, a flap lever uh, on on there are you? yeah 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 oh, i wonder uh, if that, i wonder if that is what uh, it is because that's it yeah. that helped ah perfect all right that's good yeah okay there okay so um config is checked uh the flaps we've already checked five green light uh, stab, stab trim, trim 4.5, 4.5 set. Yeah. Uh, take up briefing we've done, and the cabin is secure. And then yeah. we'll just go below the line as well. So okay. MCP, so we've got LNAV, uh, their auto throttle should be armed. Flight directors are on. That all looks good. So okay. yeah, we'll, we'll say that's set. Set. Transponder is whoops is T A R A. Mm -hmm. And the strobe lights. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> All right, there we go. And uh, strobes are strobe and steady. Uh, yep, that's good. So the strobe lights are on. Landing lights are on uh, as well. Landing lights are on. That is the before takeoff checklist complete. Okay. All right. All right, we ready? I'm ready. All right, let's uh, take off. I think we've been uh, cleared. Yeah, we have been right. cleared. So um, yeah, let's go. So do you remember what you're doing here? Yes, I believe so. Uh, all right, so let's get. So you got 40% initially. 40%, a little bit more than I wanted. All right. And then I'll call you stabilized and then uh, hit the toga button. Hit the toga button, which should be this. Yeah. And uh, start your timer as well. Okay. Which is the, this one, yeah. Yeah, and that one will work, yeah. Okay, so takeoff thrust is set, indications normal. And there's 80 knots. Oops. Rotate. One. Rotate. Gear up. Good. And then when you pass 400 feet, call out the roll mode. 400. 400? Yep, there you go. So LNAV is the roll LNAV. mode. LNAV. Fuel. Oh, because. I uh, said so the um it's the, the tanks, center tanks. Center tanks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. And you can uh bug up your speed. Bug up. Oh boy. <laughs> you can put your autopilot in if uh, if that helps. Yeah, it might just because I'm trying to zoom and bug up and uh, <laughs> it's it's 
<laughs> I need to put this on a button. Okay, I'm gonna put in, uh, hold on a second, let's get ourselves. There we go. Okay, let's go to flaps two. We can go straight to flaps one from five. Okay, yeah. flaps one. And then uh, you're above the flaps one bug as well, so you can go flaps up as well. Flap zero. Let's just turn off the... Yeah. Good, okay, so you are now flaps up with no lights, so you can uh, select VNAV now. Okay, VNAV. And we'll say um, I've cleared you to flight level 240. Okay, clear to 240. Yeah. And alt intervent in that 6000 as well before we level off. Okay. 240, and uh, oops. I'll intervent. And hit it as many times as you get until you get rid of that 6,000 there. It's still in there, so you're going to level off if you don't. Oh, I see. Okay. Hold on a second. So does alt intervent, does it clear the first one, and then you have to keep hitting it to keep, clear the next? Keep, yeah, keep clicking it. Gotcha. Uh, so, so yeah, that's it. You see there that there that, changed, that changed from six thousand to flight level two four zero there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that uh, that means that you're not going to level off now. So ah, uh, I it. see. Gotcha. So, okay. Uh, good. You've selected so VNAV, so you can set standard now. Yep, that's it. Standard set. And uh, cross and then, uh, do the after takeoff checks then. All right. So after takeoff checklist. Air conditioning and pressurization is set. Yep. So you're just what you're doing here is you're checking your uh, differential pressure. Okay. Making sure the cabin's got a sensible rate of climb, and then you'd work up the pressurization panel from there. So it kind of looks uh, like this kind of uh, this kind of pattern here, uh, where you kind of work your way up the panel and just make sure everything's configured as you as you want it. Got it. Okay. Uh, so that all looks good. Great. Um, engine start switches uh, to auto. Yep. Okay. Uh, landing gear up and off. Good. Okay. Auto brake is off. Flaps are up and no lights. Altimeters are set standard, standard, and standard. Good. Now we're passing through uh, flight level 100. Uh, so, well, we've already passed through it. So, we're going to do the 10 checks now. Do you, did I okay. tell you about those before? I can't remember. Yeah, I think we did them once. Uh, lights are off, right? Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> now remind me what else we do. Uh, so, first thing is the fuel. So, you're going to check the fuel uh, balance, and you put those center pumps back on. Okay. Uh, and that'll burn the what's in the center tank there. The lights, yeah. So lights are set. APU, uh, we want to have, make sure that's off. APU is off. Another check of the pressurization panel in the way that okay. I showed you before. Still looks good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, seat belts. Right. So um, we're, actually, we're leaving the seat belts on at the moment the whole time to stop okay. people from moving around too much. Yeah. Um, and then. Um, Recall. Do I give them a little chime ding or anything? You can let the cabin crew go, yeah. That's, you can just ding them. There you go. Okay. Um, what else? Yeah. And uh, just a quick recall, and then that's it. Okay. And uh, recall. Looks good. Cool. All right, so climbing up to 240. So we've been clear to our final altitude. So um, what we would do now on a short flight like this is hand over the controls and then the pilot flying for the approach would set up the uh, the arrival in the mm -hmm. FMC. So let's, uh, let's start working through that. 
Would I turn off the center pumps again at this uh, point, or? It's still showing that it's got 160 in the in the center tank, so I'm not quite yeah. sure why okay. it's given us that message. You can turn them off, though, to get rid of that warning, I suppose. Uh, it might be because we were in the turn there. In know. the turn, yeah. OK. It shouldn't be flashing that up right now um, until, they're, until they're empty, so. Okay. Anyway, so we can uh, we can just go through and uh, start setting up the approach then. Okay. So. Um. So we go, would we go through the briefing? Um, you set it up first, and then we'll and then we'll quickly brief it. Yeah. So. Okay. So your arrival at the nine map two Lima. I think you already put that in, right? So we can. Yeah, it's already in. Uh, let's just verify. Interesting. Well, maybe we select it again. Is it it should show if we selected it before, right? It should do. Um, go to the legs page and let's see what's in what's in there. <clears throat> oh, interesting. Somehow it it didn't uh, take. Maybe I didn't activate it. Right. Have a look at. Uh, go to the root page. Yeah. And let's see what's in there. Go back. Oh, it's got. So, yeah, it's in there. It's in there. Yeah, it's in but, there. Oh, it's in there. Okay, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Latmo is the final. Uh... Yeah. All right. So okay. just let, let's uh, let's set up some of the other things then, so we know we've got we can brief that in a sec. So go to the descent page. Okay. And then put the speed restriction in there of two five zero below flight level one hundred. Okay. Yeah, and then pop that in. You don't have to actually put FL in there. Uh, just clear that. Uh, yeah, okay. you, you can actually just put 100 in, and it and then it will save and you. And it'll now save you a okay. couple of key presses. Yeah. Uh, go to the forecast page. Okay. And then we'll put the uh, QNH in for Dublin, which I can get for you. Also look at Avitab and see. If it tells us, so Q and H yeah. for Dublin. I've got the latest one. I've got is uh, nine seven six. Yep, got that as well. Oh, nine seven seven now actually. Nine seven seven. Okay. Yeah, that was seven minutes ago. Nine seven seven. Um, the, we would put the descent winds in, but we're quite low anyway, so I'm I'm happy to leave that out. Uh, okay. To be honest with you, and then uh, go to the fixed page. Okay. And then do I, I do I put in? I f remind me, do I put in the, just the airport or the, uh, the with the with the runway as well? Uh, put the runway in there, so you don't have to put the airport code. Just put um, R just two eight left. Yeah, it should be R W two eight left. You put in there. Uh, do you need to put R? You need to put R W first. That's what. R W. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Ah, uh, okay. Is that accepted? Okay. Yep, that has. Yep, that works. So, um, so you just put ten um, and four, ten and four, and also a top of descent one for for a little reminder. So, which is three times the height. Okay. Or three times the altitude. Um. So we're climbing to two four zero. So it's going to be yeah. uh, seventy two. Seventy two. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Good. Um, so now we'll just go through the legs page and just make sure that the arrival looks uh, looks correct then with the uh, with your chart. Plan mode. Yeah. Okay. So let us. Uh, Uh, how do I keep it on screen as I, all right, we'll, we'll just do it this way. So, um, I can, uh, I can tell you, I can call them out to you if you want. I can put it here. Cause we start at, at NEMAT, right. And then, uh, on the, um, let's just zoom in here. Okay. So NEMAT, uh, 
heading 185 to Karav. And at Karav, we want to be at flight level 80 and below uh, 230 on the speed. Yep. From Karav, we're going uh, 129 to Kogax. Again, yep. at Kogax, to below 330 and at flight level 80. Mm -hmm. From Kogax, 151 to Kudom. Kudom, yeah. Uh, same uh, restrictions. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from, uh, let's see, Kudam, we go uh, DW 814, 815, 816, all same restrictions. Yep. Yeah. And, and then uh, uh, 317 to Latmo. And at Latmo, we want to be at. Uh, max, so it's actually we want to be above 3000 and we want a max of 180. So yeah. we would change this here, right? Um, yes, you do, yeah. 180 okay. or below. In there. Yeah. Okay, so we'll, let's do 180B. Yep, I put it in the wrong one. So yeah. let's. <laughs> okay, let's try it's that again. Uh, it, it's moved up one, I think. It's moved. One. Okay. So, so I put the slash. Oh, I see. Yeah, you put okay. the slash in after the one eight zero or below. Gotcha. There we go. Okay. Okay. Good. Perfect. All right. So that's Lamo. That takes you over to the uh, to the RNAV plate. Let's just have a quick look on the uh, at the progress page to see how far we got to top of descent. Okay. Just to make sure we're not top of descent fifty three miles. Okay. All right. So we've got a little. We've got a couple of minutes in. All right. Uh, so, yeah. So, go over to the RNAV plate then. Okay. So. All right. So, that goes from LATMO. Goes from LATMO 278 uh, to MAXEV. Mm -hmm. um, what is this? Oh, that's Ignos for yeah. Data. That's we're not going to be using that for for because we're doing an L now VNAV. Uh, we don't need okay. to worry about that for today. Okay. Yeah. Um. So it's basically a straight in approach, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Maxav is a mandatory twenty five hundred feet. Yeah. Um. The. And then a three degree glide path angle. Mm hmm. Um, with uh, minimums at 680. Yep, so make sure you've got that set on your PFD. Okay. So let's go. Six eighty. Oh, <laughs> and you can turn the center pumps off now as well. That's uh, that's empty. I bring my uh, mouse away, and it keeps going. <laughs> what happens? All right. What were you saying again? Uh, you can turn the center tank pumps off now as well. The, center uh, tank pumps off. Yeah. Okay. It's just, uh, hold on a second. Uh, where is next checklist? Let's just take it off. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, let's just do a quick check of the top of the scent. Go to um, progress or something. Okay, and progress thirty-four. Thirty-four. Okay, we'll just say that um, I've cleared you when ready to descend yep. to uh, flight level one five zero. One five zero. Yeah, and then you could just select one five zero in the in the window there, and then leave it, and then V now will start the descent 
when you get to uh, the top of the tent point. Correct. And then, uh, and then we don't have to worry about it then. Um, okay, so that's uh, so. Just uh, brief the rest of the approach plate then. So we've got six eighty on the minimums, uh, and then just go up to the top line and just brief off, brief off from there. Okay, so um, yeah, how would you how would you start the, the like would the you start Eglo, with Egnos? Egnos frequency, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, okay. Find a find approach course. Final approach is, course uh, two seven eight two seven eight. Please, yeah. Just set those in your in your courses on the MCP. Okay. Two seven eight set. Good. Uh, mandatory twenty five hundred at max ev. Yeah, so we know that we briefed that. Already. DA referred to minimums. We've talked about that. Mm -hmm. Airport elevation is two forty two, yeah. and I've got two fifty in the landing. Perfect. Okay. Uh, missed approach. I'm gonna climb straight ahead to Gannett to a max of three thousand, then turn right max of 220 knots direct to the Dublin VOR climbing to 5,000 and resume and route. Okay. Um, so that should therefore match in the uh, legs page. Uh, so just double check to make sure you've got the correct missed approach in there. Okay. So, whoops. So Latmo max F. So basically, uh, straight ahead to Gannett, and yeah. then a turn of uh, seven eight to the Dublin VOR. Yeah, um, on, on my approach plate here, it's showing a, a stop a stop altitude of three thousand at Gannett there. So, okay, uh, it's not. Uh, yeah, it does have it on yours. Like if you have max of three thousand. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, yeah. that will be the missed approach altitude that we set. Okay, in the and then, Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we'll need to we'll need to remember that. Um, okay, so that's all good. I'm happy with that. Um, and then uh, I'm happy to assume that we've done the uh, the performance, uh, and we'll just uh, we'll just put the speeds in because uh, we're, we're okay. happy that the runway is long enough. So go to the progress page now. So we're going to end up with 15.1. Oh, sorry, 13.4. 13.4 on landing, and we've got 15.1 at the moment. So take the difference. Yep. So 1.6. Yep, 1.6, agreed. Uh, so go to the init ref page. Okay. Take 1.6 yeah. off of that. Yep. So 138.4. That's our gross weight. Flaps 30 today. Yep, happy with that. Okay. Flaps 30 gives us a speed of 145. Yep. And the wind at Dublin is currently uh, 2406, so there's nothing to, no need to add on anything. Although there is a uh, tempo of uh, gusted 30, so that'll be interesting if it's. Okay, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be we'll fun. see how that goes. Yeah. We'll <laughs> all see right. How that goes. Uh, so that's uh, looking all right. So we've got the speeds are in and everything. So we'll just quickly run through the descent checks then. Okay. So pressurization, landing altitude, we've got 250 set. Mm -hmm. uh, Anti-ice, none required. Well, so the TAD is negative 10. We might be going through some clouds here mm -hmm. coming down. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we can put it on. Uh, we can put it on now, actually, because we're definitely going to need it in the descent. OK, so, so whoops, let's So you put the start stop switches, moving. Put the start switches start, into continuous first. Start into continuous first, yeah. OK. And then end an anti on. Yep, correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. That's it. All um, right. All right. So, uh, approach briefing and fuel we've discussed. Mm -hmm. uh, speed and altimeter bugs. Yep. So you uh, got six eighty and uh, one forty five checked and set. Um, okay. So happy with that. Make sure you've got your heading bug matched with your with your heading as well. Good. Now, um, while we've got the time here, then it looks like it's about to start descending. Yep. I think. So um, while we're in the descent, we're going to have a quick talk about how we're going to fly this uh, on our approach. So if you have a, another quick look at your plate here uh, for, for 28 left, 
Uh, you'll see that the what, what's the final approach fix? Do you know? Uh, the final final approach fix would be Maxev, right? Correct. Yeah. So two miles prior to Maxev, uh, we need to uh, we'll call that our approaching descent point. So the pilot monitoring would normally call that. So I'll try and remember to do that for you. Okay. At that at that point, what you're going to do is set the minimums rounded up to the nearest hundred feet. So in this case, it'd be seven hundred feet. Okay. Make sure we're in, and you're just going to set that in the altitude window. Make sure we're in VNAV path and okay. speed into VED selected. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's the three things you're going to have, you need to do to make sure that the aircraft's going to do what you're expecting it to at the final approach fix. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's what to do there. And then when we hit the final approach fix, you're going to call out uh, the. Uh, we're going to, you're going to call out that we're at the FAF. Uh, the okay. altitude that you're showing should be 2,500 in this case. And yep. then whether you're showing any flags, so flags or no flags, depending on whether you've got any flags showing on the PFD or not. Okay. Okay. Um, then we'll configure shortly after that. So you've got, did you put a four mile ring in? I can't remember now. I did, yeah. Okay. So we might configure a little bit before that just to make sure that yep. uh, we've got enough time. Uh, then uh, we'll take the landing checklist to flaps. We'll configure for flaps 30. Then when we get to 1,000 feet above the aerodrome, so you know when the white band starts to come in on the altimeter, yep. uh, we'll set the missed approach altitude, which is 3,000 in this 3, case. 3,000, yep. Um, uh, yeah, then that's pretty much it. So uh, okay. what we do after that then is just disconnect when we get to um, 500 feet or whenever you want to. Okay. And uh, we just continue and land. What we will do though is save our progress in a second so that we can come back to this point and uh, do a couple more practices uh, great later on great so we'll do this one fully manual uh, so, sorry fully automated until yeah uh, until later and then we'll have a look at doing it manually after that if you're happy okay okay uh, so you can continue your descent to flight level eight zero okay continue descent to flight level eight zero good eight zero set that's eight zero checked And I don't know if you want to see if the uh, eight is for Dublin's coming through. Yeah, we could try that. Um, do they use, let's just see here. The frequency I've got for it is uh, 124.53. 124.53? Yeah, I've got they... 124. Yeah, it's one two four five two in Avatab for some reason. We can try, whichever, just to give it a go. Yeah. Let's try it. So, actually, got well. Let's try this. There we go, Romeo. Two five. Zero and eight. <laughs> Romeo. Were you able to hear that on your end? No, I couldn't hear it. I'll, okay. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Uh, okay. So, Q, what was the Q and H they were giving you? Well, they were giving it to me in uh, in inches. Oh, okay. Um, uh, we'll just set nine seven six then, see if that's what it's showing on there. I think so. Yeah. Uh, so just preset nine seven six there in. Uh, Oops. Hold in on. There. And how comfortable are you with uh, with shortcuts in the descent? With shortcuts? Yeah. It shouldn't be too uh, bad, to be honest, uh, if I give you a shortcut right now. Because of that yeah. point, because of the point merge, you know, the level flight level eight zero portion, it shouldn't, yeah. it shouldn't actually put you too high. So what I'll sure. do now is I'll say uh, clear direct to LATMO. Clear direct LATMO. OK. Yeah. So we're going to go to legs. We're going to bring LATMO up. There OK, and execute. Good. Direct now, Latmo. You see, it's put you 250 feet high there. 
Um, so what I would do here um, is probably it's probably not speed worth break. it now. Actually, yeah, I would um, I would probably just go to level change and speed up a little bit. Uh, okay. But it's okay. I wouldn't worry too much now because what's going to happen is uh, Vnav path is going to dive for the path. You see yeah. your speeds come up slightly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the reason for that is because Vnav's just dived down for the path. Now, if it was a, a if it was a bigger shortcut um, and you were like say three thousand feet high, then what could happen is your speed could go up into the overspeed band. Mm -hmm. um, so what what I would personally do here is go to level change, and that will control the speed, and then either speed up myself, uh, or uh, or you know recalculate the uh, the path in the, with okay. the FMC. But it's okay. You can go back to Vnav now because you're back on the path anyway. And uh, you're only 10 knots fast, so that will work itself out, no problem. Uh, so you can descend to 3,000 feet altitude now, QNH 976 hectopascals. Descend to 3,000 feet altitude, QNH 976 hectopascals. Good. Nine, and seven, then we'll, six, do the, we'll do the 10 checks. Okay. So let's see, landing lights on. Uh, it's just the, uh, yeah, you could put them all on now, it's fine, except the taxi light. Okay. Wait, say that again. Uh, put them all on except the taxi light on this one. Except the taxi. Okay. Yeah, and we'll do that when we clear to land. Uh, so okay. the fuel is. Uh, make sure the fuel's balanced with four pumps on. Lights are set. The APU is off. It's off. And uh, the pressurization. You see, just run through that that quick check again to make sure okay. the pressurization's going. All looks good. Seat belts are on. Uh, quickly tap the recall. Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's the TED chase complete. So great. You know, good to go. Now, just to get ourselves set. Um, so this is interesting. So we're actually above 250. Yeah, we sh it should be slowing you down a little bit. You can, if you want to, you can switch to level change and then control okay. the speed yourself uh, okay. for a bit. So go to 250 there. And then what they'll do is going to put you high slightly, so you could use a bit of speed brake to recapture the speed path. Break. Okay. And then once you're back on the path and on speed, you can then reselect V now. But just remember that it's. Um... Why did it? Why did the autopilot just cut out? I don't know. It's a good question. And it's we're speeding up. If any idea what's going on? No. <laughs> could tell you you're in level change so it should be pitching for the speed um oh you've got 94.5 percent n1 have you tapped your throttle or anything no uh it should be uh, close this rust levers it should be locked out if the there there we go hmm. Oh, uh, no. you know what's happening? It's uh, there's something with um, <laughs> there's something with the honeycomb. I think when I pull out the speed brake. Oh, okay. That it's it's freaking out a little bit, and it's. All right, because we, we've got a, a bit of an issue now because we are a little high. We're a little high. Should we so, do a little vectoring here? Um, yeah, I think so. Let's go for um, let's go for a heading of one five zero. One five zero on the heading. And bring your speed back to two twenty. Okay, speed two twenty. All right, stow the speed brake. See if it does. Okay, speed brake sure stowed. Are... Let's hope this works. All right. Okay, so we're good. All right, now give yourself uh, direct lap mo again. Okay, direct lap mo. That uh, looks good. So go for L nav. Okay. L nav. 
All right. Are you happy? I'm happy. Okay. Uh, so you're back on the VNAV path, so you could go VNAV again. Okay. And now we're supposed to be at 180 at Latmo. Yeah, so it goes, uh, go for speed into vent then. Actually, it looks like okay. it's doing it. It looks like it's doing it for you. Okay. Yeah, VDAV's slowing you down, so that's okay. Um, what you could do then is start taking, you could start taking flaps. Okay. So flaps one. Now, now hit speed into vent and take control of the speed yourself. Okay. Good. Uh, don't bug below the flap speed. So go for uh, go for flaps two if you want to do that. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, flaps two. There you go. And then you can just uh, bug the flaps two speed there, and that will sort you out for lap mo. Gotcha. And you could use a bit of speed brake if you think that's going to that's gonna need it as well. I'm going to be careful with that. <laughs> um, good. So um, you're clear for the approach. So okay. after Latmo, yeah, after yep. Latmo, you can descend to 2,500 feet. So I would set okay. that now in, in advance of getting to Latmo. Okay, 2,500. And then that takes you to the file approach fix there. Oh, you want the, uh, put the auto brake on to th onto three as well. Okay. Auto sure. brake three. Yeah. Okay, you can stow the speed brake now. Okay, okay. Your speed brake is stowed. Bring your heading bug ground to the final uh, approach track. Uh, so two seven eight. Two seven eight. Oops. There we go. Good. And then you're uh, coming up to two miles from Maxif now, so we'll call that approaching descent. Approaching descent. Yeah. So what you're going to do now is you're going to set uh, the minimum, so 700 feet. 700 feet. Okay. Check your in VNAV path, which uh, you are on the FMA there. VNAV and path. Speed intervent is selected as well. Um, I would go for flat five if I were you. Okay, flat five. And then slow down to the flat five speed. So that's it. Everything's done now. So all you got to do now is wait till we get to the path, make sure you're at the right altitude, and then check if you've got any flags or not. And we just leave it in VNAV LNAV. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's right. Yeah. Great. So approaching Maxev at yep. 2,500. Great. Yep. With no flags. So that's good. So we're happy that it's doing the right thing. And uh, yeah, so just coming up to that uh, ring now. So go ahead and start to configure. I think uh, it's probably a good idea. Okay. So take the gear down. Gear down. Flat 15. Flat 15. And Button then the speed. speed. Good. And then we can take the landing checklist to flap. So I'll read these out to you. So okay. start switches are continuous. A recall. Recall checked. Speed brake should be armed with a green light. Armed. Uh, green light. Good. Uh, landing gear should be down with three greens. Landing gear down, three greens. Water brake, uh, we want three set. Three set. And then go for the flaps uh, configuration. So it's flaps 30. Flaps 30. And then bug your V ref plus five speed. Just that's it. So the flaps check is 30, 30 green lights. So check on the approach ref page there. And okay. then you've got uh, 30, 30, 30 green light. Good. 
And then we'll say you're clear to land. Uh, so you switch clear the taxi. Switch the taxi light on. Good. That's on. And then reset. And now we set the Mr. Approach altitude passing the one thousand there. So it's three thousand feet to set in there. Three thousand feet. Good. Uh, then that's the landing checklist complete, and we've got the Mr. Approach altitude set. So we are looking good. So looking good. Uh, yeah, uh, so whenever you have you uh, set uh, had five knots to your V ref there. Okay. Uh, yeah, we wouldn't ever fly the V ref like that. We'd we'd always put at least five knots on. Gotcha. Yeah. And then uh, whenever you're comfortable, go ahead and disconnect. Good. So you can leave the flight directors uh, on for this one because we've got the runway okay. tuned in. Uh, so just follow the flight directors as best you can and okay. keep on the pappies. Uh, watch that speed there. You're a bit below VREF. So a little okay. bit of a little bit of uh, power. Oof. <laughs> oh. That was quite hard. <laughs> it's firm. <laughs> That's all right. And take your reverses, and the speed brake is up, I think. You have to come to a stop on the runway. Okay. Oh, we forgot to save progress. We did, I know. I remembered that on the approach. So we uh... might have to, uh, we just uh, set ourselves up from uh, Dublin, and we can just sort of give ourselves a. A bit of a circuit. Um, all right. So, uh, I'm not terrible besides the <laughs> besides the hard landing. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Next up, Daryl will be walking Jeffrey through several practice RNAV approach attempts at Dublin. Things do get quite interesting on short final, so stay tuned to see what happens. So, so should we stay at what three thousand? You think? Um, yeah, I think that's probably, that's probably good here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you can just, uh, you can just sort of tune in the, the R RMP to it left again. And then okay. what we'll do is, uh, we'll do like, a, do like a radar vector departure and then, and then I'll sort of clear you to, uh, to lap mode. Okay. So just go one one point two. Whoops. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm just putting in something random. Okay, let's go one 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 point two. Uh, two seven eight on the course. Okay, let's the FMC. Okay, W, IDW. Okay, let's go departure two eight left, no star. And RNAV two eight left, no star. Let's activate. Okay. We'll do three thousand. Let's, uh, uh, let's put cost index six in there or something. Okay. Uh, give yourself two tons of reserves. Say again. Just give yourself two tons of reserves. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um. Oh, it'd be it'd be an American, wouldn't it? Uh, it would be I don't four, know, four, five, thousand. yeah, four thousand. Let's try that. Is that right? I think so. Okay. Um, and wind and ice. Uh, well, tad is. I uh, just put uh, for the cruise. We just put zero zero one at, at one knot. Okay. 
and then top of climb i said it's not really that important for this so you should just put in um just, Fine, put, in, just put zero in there okay nice deviation good okay um and uh let's see here so oops i also want to get Hang on. I already have it. Um, okay. So, uh, in one limit, you just leave it alone. Um, you could, yeah. Just, let's calculate? go for a, let's just go for a full twenty four k takeoff there. Um, that that should be perfectly fine for this runway. Okay. Great. And then take off flaps five. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll just. Actually, they, uh, they, we might want to put a weight and make sure the weights are good. Are they? Are the weights? The weights are probably okay. Yeah. So current CG is twenty one point seven. Trim four point five. Okay. 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 All right. So. Um, don't worry about the route discontinuity there. So we'll do we'll yeah. do a, a radar vector departure. So it'll be uh, we'll do a heading select departure. Uh, okay. Put your uh, auto throttle armed. Let's get this flight directors on. Good. Um, yeah, you can do that. That's fine. Um, Let's get takeoff good. flaps. Yes. Hang on a second. And Let me just fix something here. RTO on the auto brake as well. What is our, do you know what our, uh, whoops, that was, shoot, hold on. Uh, Q&H was 976, I think. Uh, you want the MFRA? Yeah. Uh, just go for, just go for 1200, something like that. Okay. Um, okay, so that looks that looks good. Um, do the do the parking brake thing, and we'll check for a config uh, warning. Okay. There we go. Anything? Nope. Okay, good. You're uh, good. All right, so I think we are good to go then. Just to give me a quick look at the overhead panel, just to make sure. Okay. Good. The yeah, damper is on, right? We're yeah. Nav. Fuel pumps. Lights are on. Yep, yeah, that all looks good. Steady. I'm pretty Great. happy with all that. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's go for it then. Okay. Let's get our yoke back up. Okay. Okay, stabilized. And Togo. There's 80 knots. 80 knots. Rotate. Good. Gear up. Yep. Four hundred. So let's bug up. Uh, don't no, bug up. Yet. Don't bug not up. Not yet. No. Um. Actually, at Dublin, they bug up at fifteen hundred feet above the ground. So. Oh wow. Um, okay. Yeah. There we go. Oh uh, yeah. Bug up now. And you can put the autopilot in if it makes it easier for you. Okay. Interesting weather reload. <laughs> That's 
Okay, so you can start retracting the flaps. Okay. Flaps to one. And flaps up. Good. Leveling off here at 3,000. You can turn right heading uh, north for now. Okay, turn right. Let's say... Good, now you can do the after takeoff checks. Okay. After takeoff, air conditioning and pressurization. So, differential looks good. And landing, auto, packs, isolation valve looks good. Okay. Okay. And hold on a second. I'll go back. Engine start switches off. Landing gear up and off. Oh my goodness. Okay. Auto brake off. Good. Uh, flaps up, no lights, up, no lights. And altimeters nine seven six. Yeah, so we'll nine, stay seven, on that. Seven, so we'll stay on. We'll stay on altitude for now. Um, right. Turn right heading zero three zero. Turn right zero three zero. And uh, just switch the taxi light off when you get a chance. That that will give us a cross check okay. for the landing clearance. Great. Good. Okay, so uh, in that case, I think we're ready to set up the approach again okay great um so let us and you can uh, you can speed up a little bit as well actually you can uh, go yeah, to go 220. to 220 knots here yeah. okay so let's go runway 28 left and 10 and 4 okay and if we go legs page, great. And so if we go to progress, um, 12 4. Uh, yeah, that's uh, 12 4 to so, 13 2. So it's 1. 1.8. 2. Um, yeah, 1.8. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> My um, uh, so, uh, right, because it's. <laughs> Yeah, point yeah, eight. Point yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Right. Uh, okay, so um, we want to be one hundred seven point four. And all right, so so basically, so it's really one twenty seven plus five, right? So it's going to be one thirty two is what you're targeting. Correct. Yeah. So last time okay. you booked, uh, last time you booked the V ref. Uh, yeah. Which is, we we want V ref. Never, yeah, we would five. never do that. We have at least five knots on top of the V ref. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so something for, for next time. If you um, the VRF plus five when you when you're bugging down to the to the speed, yeah. Uh, if you just put the the magenta bug on top of the on top of the ref, uh, if the hold on, I see what you're saying. I know yeah. what you mean. Yeah, if you put so, the bug on top of the bug, right? Put Essentially, the, yeah. So hang on, let me uh, let me draw it for you. So you got the, the magenta bug here, the bottom line. Yeah. Yeah. If you put that on the VRF bug. Yeah. That will be plus five knots. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, so yeah, that will that will so you don't have to worry about you know remembering what it was or anything. Okay. I'm trying to clear yeah, drawing. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we've got that. Just to quickly rebrief the approach plate, set your minimums up and everything. Okay. And you could go um, right to uh, zero nine zero now. Okay. Right. Zero nine zero. Okay. I think it was, let's just double check this. So 680. Yep. OK. 
Okay. And um, so again, final approach course 278. Max of is our FAF 2500. Mm -hmm. Our minimums are 680. We're going to put 700 in the window. Yep. Uh, missed approach, climb straight ahead to Gannett at 3000 and then turn right towards the Dublin VOR. Yep. Um, great. And then for so for the RMP, we want to remember uh, about two miles from Maxiv, 700 in the box mm -hmm. or in the window. Uh, yep. We want speed intervent. Yep. LNAV, VNAV. Yeah, well, VNAV, make sure you have VNAV path. Um, VNAV well. path. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, do me a favor, just go to 20 mile range on the, uh, on the, on the, on yep. the, so, so I can see where we are. Uh, maybe go to 40. There we go. That's, that's better. All right. So you can come right by 10 degrees there. Right. 10 degrees. Yeah. That looks good. Um, yeah. So it's, uh, it's minimums, VNAV path, speed end event uh, is what you want. Okay. And then uh, call the FAF when you get there, the altitude okay. and whether you've got any flags. Then we can figure for landing. Then it's 1,000 feet, Mr. Approach altitude set. And uh, and that's it. Uh, so, okay. do you want to do this one on automatics again? Oh, let's save the progress as well. Yes. <laughs> so from right here. Uh, yeah. Which do you do it through here? Uh, do, yeah, do it on here. It should work. Uh, so yeah, save. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, load safe flight. I think go to go to there. And then save uh, flight one. Yes, yeah, save flight. So then we should be able to load that in a second uh, Great. To, to set us back in this position. Great. Okay. All right. So um, let's say you are cleared to LAPMO. Okay. Cleared direct LAPMO. Good. Now take LNAV. And uh, go for VNAV as well, just so we've got it in. Okay. Good. Um, you can speed into that now and stay at 220. Good. All right. So uh, that's all looking good. So we're 180 or below at LAPMO. Uh, so you can plan for that. Okay, let me bring it down. Hopefully that turn won't be too tight. Should be okay. Um, don't bug below the up speed until you've taken flaps though. Ah, right, okay. So that's it. Um, Good, so you can just leave it at the up speed until you're a bit slower and then you can start taking flaps. You've got uh, 13 miles to lose the speed, so you're fine at the moment. Right. Uh, go for all the break three as well. Okay. Auto break three. Good. So even though we're not descending, but descent checklist. Yep. Pressurization, landing altitude, it's 250. Set. Uh, Anti-ice. We're plus 12, so none yep. required. It's all good. Yep. And we're off. Approach briefing we've talked about. And the speed and altitude bugs are set. Good. OK, so um, yeah, we got 10 miles to go to LAPMO. So I'm happy at this speed if you're happy for now. Yeah. Good. Uh, so, yeah, so I think we've done everything, haven't we? Pretty much, yeah. You can I do the so. approach. Yeah. We can do the approach check. So what we what we do before we do the approach check is just double check to make sure that anything that we needed tuned is tuned, uh, which there isn't okay. really much to tune for the RNF approach here. Um, make sure the fix rings are in. Uh, so go okay. to the fix. Uh, go to the fix page, and you've got runway two eight left, ten and four. Um, I, anything we need to ident, we make sure it's identing, uh, which we don't have anything to ident here. Um, standby altimeter is that set? think so you've got it on cross to, yep. to cross feed yeah 
Okay, good. Uh, and the courses, uh, so make sure we've got 278 set and the two courses 278 set twice. And uh, go to the legs page and just make sure a final approach track is set correctly as well. 278 in there. Uh, yep, 278. And uh, you can do the um, approach checks then in that case. Okay, approach checks. Uh, altimeters and instruments set and cross-checked. And uh, approach age checked and set. Good. Perfect. All right, so you got five miles for that most. So if you want to slow it down to 180 now. Okay. Uh, so Bring, take, whoops. Take your, start Bring taking your flaps. Flaps in. Uh, and uh, that's already done it for you actually because we're because we're lighter this time you see the the, yeah. the bugs are actually lower and so that's going to work out quite fine uh the make sure your heading bug is stayed up staying up to date as well okay Good. So your heading uh, bug, make sure that when you set it, um, make sure that it's set to the heading. So you see this, ah. this here is the heading. That's to the ground track, the white, the white line. Whoops. Uh, so yeah, just set it to that. <laughs> Let's try the right bug. So there we go. Okay. Uh, so the, the, the white line is the ground track. Gotcha. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, so the, my airline has the track set to track up. Uh, so uh, your so your heading's actually not usually right at the top; it's totally off. Yeah, set. and uh, that actually confused me uh, when I first started because I was so used to flying uh, with the heading at the top. Yeah, so I used to always set the track, so that's why I noticed that you'd done it. Gotcha. Yeah, I know you can configure that in the in the menu, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're starting to turn. Good, so you come around the corner. So. Uh, yeah, you want to go down 2,500, correct? Two yep. five. So hopefully it will initiate that for you soon. Oh, it's giving you, a, looks like it's giving you a top of descent point there. So. It is, it's yeah. Gonna, it'll do, it should do that for you then. And then just before it starts descending, just configure yourself a flat five, just so you okay. got everything sorted. There you go. So VNAV profile's coming in now. So yeah, go for flat five and slow down for flat five and slow to the flat five speed. Yeah. Just make sure VNAV doesn't do anything funny here. No, it looks like it's doing it. It's always nice to have a, uh, a healthy distrust of VNAV. Uh -huh. It's not always perfect. So we're close to max of here. Yep. So you've got two miles. Yeah. So I'm going to set uh, 700 in the window. Correct. Speed intervent is set. VNAV path. Good. Uh, so now it should go down the profile um, after max of. So we've got okay. to do now is call the FAF when you get to max of. Okay. And final approach fix, Maxev now. Good. Uh, so that altitude checks with no flags. And then um, you can configure a little earlier if it makes it easier for you. Okay. Let's configure. So gear down, flaps 15. Yep. Match the speed. Good. And then you can uh, take your laddie checklist to flaps. Okay. So I'll, I'll read them out to you, it's easier. So okay. start, start switch is continuous. Start switch is continuous. Recall is checked. Okay. Speed brake arm, green light. Speed brake arm, green light. Landing gear down three green. Landing gear down three green. Order brake three set. Three set. And then configure yourself for the landing. So flaps All 30. All right, flaps 30. 
And VRF plus five. Correct. Yeah. So just that's it. Perfect. So that that. I say yeah, right on top, on top yeah. of ref. Yep. Exactly. Uh, so now uh, go to the init ref page and check your flaps. Okay. Flaps thirty. Flaps thirty set. Yep, 30, 30 green light, and then uh, put the taxi light on. You've been cleared to land. Taxi light on. And the landing lights are all therefore on. As the landing check is complete. It feels like we're high, but. Yeah, it looks a little high. That's a thousand feet. So you can reset your um, okay. approach altitude to 3,000 feet. Um, yeah, it looks like four lights to me. It does. Oh, well, you can uh, hopefully will correct itself. That's way high. We're way too high. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Go around flaps. Yeah, let's go around. Yeah. All right. Go, go around flaps. Flap fifteen. And I take the gear up as well. Gear up. Uh, you've gone flat 15, you've gone to 10, I think, there. Ah, uh, shoot. There you go. Uh, so uh, you can start cleaning up the flaps now. And you're leveling off at 3,000 feet. Now oh, that's in, so you're good. Yeah, so you want that to be on the up speed, the, the bug there. And you can take the rest of the flaps up. Auto throttles in, so you don't have to worry about that. That was a little strange. Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe we forgot to set something in the uh, in the FMC there for that. Uh, let's so let's load our um, let's load the flight again. After one more approach attempt, the culprit for the incorrect altitude was discovered. The weather in X plane was not updating to reflect real world conditions. While Jeffrey was using the correct real-world altimeter setting, the barometric pressure in X-Plane was much higher than it should have been, resulting in the aircraft coming in too high on approach. After this was resolved, they completed one final successful approach. All right, so just let the aircraft sort itself out a second. Okay. Um, we can actually, yeah, let's see if we can get lap, uh, get Lapo back in. <laughs> so strange. Uh, it's not even clearing out the. the to, to change the destination airport. See if uh, see if we can go go back to the route page. Yeah, we we'll just put Edinburgh in the destination airport and see uh, see if that does anything. Put it where? Uh, I go to route page one. Oh, whoops, hold on. Aha. Execute that. That should clear, that should clear stuff out now. Yes. Mm. No. Go, uh, eggs. Uh, why is this happening? Let's see if we can, I don't know, EIDW.
Yeah, let's try. Ah, uh, wait. Maybe it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so bring it's... Latmo, bring Latmo yep. to the top. What? It's disappeared again. Oh, it's Maxev. Uh, it, what's happened here? Maxev's now above Latmo. Ah. Uh -huh. So go. Uh, try, try putting Latmo at the top again. See what happens. That is so strange. Now. All right. Bring the second Maxev to the top. Hold on. Let's do. All right, we'll just we'll just make our own lap mode again. What's happening here? Now, I was trying to still not. It's just bringing Max up to the top. Yeah, that's okay. Leave leave it like that, then. We'll just do what we did before. So um, okay, so Max of zero nine eight. Yeah. Or nine nine. Uh, uh, zero nine eight. Zero nine eight. Slash four. Oops. Yeah. yeah. That should be about right. Hold on. All right. And then, uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we got 23 miles to uh, sort out the um, the arrival stuff. So put your put your fixed rings in and all that stuff, and uh, put the Q and H in the in the forecast page just to make sure as well. Okay, so fixed rings are in. Whoops, uh, progress, and then let's go to wait. Wait, remind me where where the forecast page is? Descent, right? Uh, yes. I see, yeah, descent, descent page. Forecast, Q&H, 976. There we go. OK. And now progress, 11.2, 12.6, so 1.4. Yep. And it ref, so 106.2. Flap 30, 126. That's going to be. 131. Okay. Good. Got the rings. Perfect. Uh, auto break three. Auto break three. And I think that all looks pretty sensible. So you can run through the descent checks and the approach checks if you like. Set check. Pressurization landing altitude is 250 set. Anti ice is on. Plus 10. But looks pretty icy out there. Yeah, you can leave it on. It's fine. Um, approach briefing and fuel discussed. IS and alt bugs are discussed, checked and set. Alts and instruments set and cross checked. Approach aids checked and set. All right, approach checklist completed. Good. Uh, make sure your heading and bug is aligned as heading well. Heading bug. Good old heading bug. All right. Was that the approach checks done as well? Yep. Good. Perfect. Now you can leave it at 220 for, you've still got the yep. 13 miles. So when you get to yep. about seven miles to go, bring it then, start okay. bringing it down.
All right. Well, hopefully we'll be on profile this time. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh... Yeah, I should have really known. Dublin was suspiciously cavokay. <laughs> yeah. It was just never like that. I don't know why it didn't uh, didn't refresh. It was driving me crazy thinking, like trying to think what was causing that. Because I was like, yeah. I don't know. Uh, the first time I thought, ah, oh, maybe we didn't put the fill in the forecast page. But then, you know, I would yeah. have expected like we were massively high. Like, we were we were a thousand feet high yeah. at least. <laughs> It's definitely getting more terrible in it, doubling. There you go. So you're probably good to start slowing yourself down now. So bring bring back to the up speed. That's it. And then uh, once you start approaching the up, you've got plenty of time to slow down. So once you start approaching the up speed, uh, then start taking the flaps. Okay. My flap lever is still out from the last time. I forgot to plop it back in, so we're just going to have to do a little. <laughs> just move it, move it back to back to up yeah. quickly. <laughs> yeah, and then. All right, there you go. Okay, let's get it back up. There we go. And now let's do flaps one. So interesting. Why won't VNAV work? Um, it should be. Is it not? No, um, oh, that's going to be a problem. Uh, <laughs> uh, OK, pause the ship. Yeah. Right. Why won't VNAV work? Uh, go to the init ref page. Can I get there without I'm pausing it now? Uh, okay. All right. I'll pause it then. Uh, go to index. Oops. Good. Go to performance. Uh, cruise altitude? Looks okay. Yeah, yeah. Put cruise altitude in there. Put 3000 in. See if that might do it. All right. Now, now quickly try and bang the nav in. There we go. Oh, I feel sorry for whoever's got to edit this. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, speed's going crazy, so uh, speed into oh, bed. Speed into bed. <laughs> shoot. Bring your bring your bring your speed down. All right. Into the turn, I'm going to bring her down to 25. Good. Make sure your speed bug comes around as well. Oh, sorry, not your speed bug, your heading bug. Heading. All right, let's bring it to 700. Yeah. Okay, 700, speed intervent, VNAV path. Good, go for Oops. flat five. Flat five. Speed down.
Good. And uh, configure it whatever you want. Okay. Let's configure it now. And you can call configure it FAF down. actually first. So that's the FAF 2500, no flags. 2500. And then I'll read the landing checks to you. Okay. The start switch is continuous. Continuous. And recall check. Recall. Speed brake, arm green light. Speed brake, arm green light. Landing gear down three green. Landing gear down three green. Uh, it says speed brake extended on there. Just make sure you've got uh, that set. Hold on. There we go. And just rearm it. There you go. Um, auto break uh, three set. Auto break three set. And then uh, go for flap 30. Flap 30. Bug down to VREF plus five. And then flap 30, 30 green light. 30 green light. And landing lights on. You're clear to land. Clear to land. Do you see a runway? I do see it, yeah. It's looking a bit more... Is it looking more sensible, I think? Right. Nope. Uh, I can't see it now. Something is very wrong. <laughs> zoom zoom. Back. Oh, no, there's the runway. I got her. I got her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I, I got her. Say, I, thought, I thought I saw it just now, and then you zoomed yeah, in. There we I go. couldn't see it anymore. All right. Is that two reds, two whites? Yeah, I think so. Oh, thank God. Yeah, it looks like it. Two reds, two whites. Good. So set your missed approach altitude now. Missed approach altitude to 3,000. Okay. Good. That's everything done now. So whatever you Everything's want. Everything's done. Uh, whenever you want, uh, disconnect and uh, fly her in. All right. Let's see here. Uh, okay. My buttons are not working. Yep, we're just going to have to go. Oh, because autopilot's not even on. That's why. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how that happened. What is going on? Something is strange, but we're just going to fly her. <laughs> no idea what's happening. Just keep an eye on your speed so it doesn't work back too much. And then check, close the thrust levers. And then just hold the attitude. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, <sighs> all right, <laughs> a little off center line, but a little bit. That's okay. It's not as bad. Uh, all right. That does it for today's flight. We hope you enjoyed this exclusive insight into the one-on-one -on -one coaching offered at flightsimcoach.com. For more videos like these, subscribe to this channel and head over to flightsimcoach.com where you can schedule a free consultation with one of our remote coaches. Thanks for watching.